It's Beer O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Carlsberg and it's a look at their brand new Pilsner. Been inundated, inundated by people saying, can you get on with it? Can you get one done? And obviously on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, I didn't even know Carlsberg brought out a brand new Pilsner. Here we are. What's interesting about this pack then is that there's no life-threatening plastic on them for the for the inevitability of the plastic rings ending up in the sea. These are just kind of like, mm. oh, actually, how would you get these off? Remove handle. Split cans into two rows. Snap cans. Right, okay. Remove handle that way snap cans that's really clever I like that I like that so there's no no plastic no stuff that's gonna go in the sea Carlsberg's Danish Pilsner coming in at 3.8% ABV. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Well, lots of anticipation for a for a Carlsberg. Maybe they feel The craft beer movement moving in a way that they feel like that they need to produce a pills that is going to be a little bit more hoppy. Maybe it's that. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's unfiltered. It's definitely unfiltered. Check that out. That's interesting. Uh, clear slightly unfiltered mostly clear light straw colored beer let's get the aroma slow moving carbonation let's get the aroma it smells okay yeah it didn't smell too bad at all actually Quite hoppy, it's like lemony, spicy, peppery back end. Light malts there, sweetness to begin with. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Of course, it's still brewed for the your man on the street, your your football loving work hard all day, goes to the pub after work, knocks back knocks back four pints. It's still that beer. But it has got, I would say, a little bit more hoppiness to it on the back end. 3.8% ABV. It's still not hitting that kind of Czech pills, German pills kind of level of quality, I would say. But at the same time, there is more of an effort here from Carlsberg. There really is. There, you, you can tell they, they, they've really thought about this beer, what they've wanted to produce. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Of course, extremely drinkable. I still think there's an element of rice that they've used uh, to brew the beer. Uh, I wouldn't say it's 100% malt pilsner. Um, I could be wrong. 
We'll have a look at the back of the label uh, on the can in a moment. But then it goes over to being slightly peppery, slightly hoppy. There's still that kind of cloiny kind of metallic middle that you would get from a brewery of this size. It's a, it's a huge brewery. Do they put the ingredients? Uh, water, malted barley, barley hops, and hop oil. Okay, so there's no, there's there's no rice in the beer at all. Um, hops and hop oil. Uh, they've used in the beer. That I suppose for somebody like Carlsberg, that's something a little bit cheaper to use the hop oil over over just fresh flour flower hops that they could use in the beer. Uh, what's my thoughts then? I've got another five cans, you know, two cans over there. I split the six, you see me split the cans up. I got, I got five cans after this. Um, Tomorrow I got people coming to the house. We're gonna have a bit of a party with some people. So, I mean, I'll drink them. I may offer a few out to friends and family who, who like who like lager. I'll drink them, but I don't think it's made such a dent that it's the type of beer that'll always be be in my beer fridge. Um, I think there's more of an effort gone in by Carlsberg. I just think. I just think they could go a little bit further. If they wanted to take the hop oil out of the beer and just fresh hop it, then there'd be even more buzz. There is a little bit of a buzz about this beer, I will admit it, people are talking about it, people have asked me continuously to review it. This is my opinion on the beer. I drink the six cans, I wouldn't be in a mad rush to buy another six cans. It's. It's okay, it's, it's almost as if they've, they've kind of like gone, okay, people don't want, really want to drink the regular Carlsberg anymore. Let's let's slightly rebrand it into, into calling it a Pilsner. We may hop it up a little bit more and we may kind of, and that'll do. That'll kind of do. I mean, they could have gone that extra step further and taken away the hop oil and added just fresh fresh flower hops into the beer. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it, if they did that? My rating, it's a it's a six out of 10. It's a six out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.